This program was brought to you by Verizon Communications. When one thinks of Southern California, images of Hollywood, the beach, and Disneyland come to mind. However, what makes this region truly great is its diverse culture. People of many different ethnicities call Orange County home. Located in North Orange County is Fullerton, a prime example of a culturally diverse city. Fullerton is a thriving community built on a foundation of education and business potential. Many Koreans chose to relocate to Fullerton after much of their property was destroyed in the 1992 South Central LA riots. This led to a large population of Koreans that currently reside in West Fullerton. Yet, the Korean community still endures criticism for being closed off from mainstream society. Differing cultural views have created a barrier that has complicated community relations. Members and leaders of the community have come together to discuss their own identity and voice their opinions and views on what makes this community great, as well as how the community can be brought closer together. I was actually born in Los Angeles, um, but born and raised in Orange County, um, Diamond Bar area. So I've been I've been pretty local. Um, definitely surrounded by a lot of Asian community. I was born in a part of South Korea called Jinju. I lived there about two years, I, so I don't have any memory of the place I used to live. I'm a 1.5 generation. That's the concept that I coined uh, like 30 some years ago. Honestly, I'm a special case. <laughs> and why I say that is I was born and raised here. I never lived in Korea. I like to call myself Korean American. Although, uh, let me tell you, I don't particularly like to distinguish Korean American, Japanese American, or, you know, Irish American. I learned to really appreciate the Korean culture. And for me, that's something big. That's basically, that defines who I am. Korea defines who I am. The Korean culture defines who I am. Uh, I don't consider myself as first generation because I, I think differently. I already Americanized and I think differently. So I'm a generation in between. Education, I got my part of education, basic education here. Mm -hmm. And they identify themselves as 1.5 generation. And the second generation is born, who are born and raised here. To be realistic, I still am in between, living between two cultures still. Uh, didn't completely acculturate it to the American culture. I still have certain values and standards the, you know, the Korean culture brings. Uh, so I'm in between. So because of that, uh, there's some struggle. Fullerton is a welcoming community because it's a generally safe area with a low crime rate and successful businesses. However, the main attraction of the city is the prestigious schools and outstanding education system. One most important uh, thing to Koreans in deciding where to live is education. There's no question that in the Korean community education is very important. They're particularly supportive of education. It's interesting to see in the communication field, for example, that the majority of new PhDs coming out of the research universities in the United States tend to be Korean students that have come to the United States to complete their graduate work. Korean people do anything, would do anything to give their uh, children opportunities for better education. Many Koreans will agree that they are motivated by education. Mm -hmm. They will move their children to where education is, um, you know, where the score, they have high test scores. So Fulton, especially West Fulton area, like uh, Coyote Hills area, uh, Rosecrans and uh, Gilbert area, that's the area we can afford to buy uh, some good housing plus good education, this ideal location for the Koreans to come. So we're considered the education city with over 60,000 students coming to school here in Fuller to today. You know, because the community is so close together and there are a lot of Asian people here, and I'm not saying that I came here just because I knew there were gonna be a lot of Asian people, but 
knowing that you know it is a safe community and it's a nice community it's not dangerous at all um, everyone's very personable and I think that's kind of it kind of makes um, Fullerton that's what kind of defines Fullerton in itself it's a welcoming community there's a huge uh, Korean presence in Orange County um, that, a lot, that surprises a lot of people. I mean, I can't speak of Fullerton, but I can only assume that it will be similar to Garden Grove. Um, I see a lot of my friends who live in Garden Grove say that I don't have to speak a single English in my whole day and I can survive just speaking Korean. I live in Little Korea. Uh, I think there's never a shortage of uh, people from other countries wanting to develop relationship with uh, colleges in the United States. We literally get contacts on a regular basis from uh, other schools in other countries, but the ones in Korea have more of, uh, much more in common with us. They are stronger Christian universities. Uh, the quality of education there is very high, and they also have a very high regard and great respect for American education. Well, this college is one of the most active on the campus as far as international programs. We have a very, very good program going with dong -ah Institute of Media and Arts in Amsong, South Korea. And we've exchanged back and forth a number of faculty and students at this point. And we're interested in seeing this relationship grow. I really wanted to study in California because it has beautiful weather and it's not very crowded. As compared to City. Actually, Fullerton is a nice city with nice weather. Uh, they don't have many regulations making it easier to get business here. Anyone new to the U.S. can experience difficulties adjusting to the culture. Challenges such as learning a new language and fear of the unfamiliar can cause a distance to develop between immigrants and existing community members. Uh, Korean culture is exactly opposite of uh, American culture. Uh, one thing that comes to my mind is um, American students are, tend to be more expressive. They don't have as much reservation as Asian students, Korean students to express themselves. They are not scared of being wrong or incorrect as much as Korean, you know, counterparts. Definitely I teach um, in America a lot more of a communicative, a lot more student-centered classrooms where the students are more engaged and students are creating a community with the teachers. I feel more like a friend with my students in America, whereas in Korea I feel more of an authoritative figure. Not just authoritative, but it's more like it, you don't have that same level of friendship. So it's definitely a different feeling when you teach in Korea versus America. What I see all of us and I hear all the time is, okay, doors open, come on in, we welcome you. But you're saying that from the, you know, as, as, as the host of this country. We want our students to have a global perspective. Uh, clearly having students come here from other countries and other cultures is of major benefit to, uh, to our own students that are are studying here because it gives them a window on the world that, that they're going to need when they participate in a global marketplace. I had to work, work my way up to learn the culture and it was a rewarding journey but it was a very tough journey for me. Unless you grab their hands to help them come in, they rarely just come in by themselves. The Korean community is much uh, newer to, to Fullerton in the past. You know, 10, 20 years have brought pretty significant growth. Uh, with a newer community, there's always some uh, growing pains. And especially for kids, daytime when they're in school, they're with Western culture in a totally different country. At night, you're in a different culture. There's always going to be challenges um, when there's a language difference. Um, you know, unfamiliarity sometimes can, can bring with it problems. And they have a passion to be treated equally. We are not immigrants. We are the same. We are them. So we have a passion to develop Fullerton. Many are confused in between because they don't know what to follow. They don't know, if, especially those who, are, who came here when they were young, they don't know which one's right. Because the Korean culture is drastically different from American culture, false perceptions exist. Korean immigrants often face difficulty in the Fullerton community because of a disconnect between community members of different backgrounds. 
I think that sometimes our perception is that um, the, the Korean students or the, that come here or the Korean community is, uh, wants to isolate itself. And I don't believe that's the case. I see the barriers, but not, not intentional, not uh, because, uh, because of language, because of this different culture, it's just different. Whether it be the Korean community, the Latino community, they become these barriers, and most of the time it's because people aren't engaging with each other. And we see it, sometimes it's the very simple things. When we talk to the business community, uh, and it's not unique to Fullerton, but you see it everywhere, when there are signs that are not in English, you feel uncomfortable. When you feel uncomfortable and you get mad, when you get mad you become hostile, right? So in that sense that's not healthy. It, it doesn't foster uh, a good communication and that's a very simple thing and there's nothing negative, there's never no, no uh, negative intention of that. It's a very simple thing that if you think about those things in front you can uh, create uh, connections versus people feeling distance from from a different ethnic group in town. Many people just choose to stay with their own culture and uh, within their safe boundary that they feel comfortable. There is a natural tendency, of course, for, as they say, birds of a feather to flock together. That's, an, that's natural human behavior. Uh, I think that there's always somewhat of a culture shock when people go to another country of any kind. You know, if you go to St. Mary's and you go to a Spanish mass, you know, it's very familiar there, it's a close-knit community. You go to a Korean church, it's very close-knit but are the people getting out and engaging and has that happened as much as it should or could? I would say no and I would say that's an area that we all need to be working on. In order to bring our community together and bridge the gap that has been created, we need to work towards better communication. With understanding, patience, and awareness, we can build a much more cohesive community. There should be more cultural awareness on the part of you know both uh, sides. What we've tried to do is to find uh, unique ways to reach out to the uh, Korean American community <clears throat> to say to them uh, we're here to serve you to be a partner with you we recognize that you're a part of the community. We have to be welcoming and we have to find significant ways to integrate uh, international students into the, the full life of the university so that we benefit and they benefit to the maximum extent possible. My suggestion is to go out there, mingle, go to Korean restaurant, go to Chinese restaurant, go to community functions, they welcome you. Our goal is to be in front of these things. Uh, Koreans should take a more proactive approach to learn about American culture. We see um, families today who have uh, are Korean American families that really want their children to still have an appreciation and knowledge of their Korean culture. And going to a, a schools in America, they don't have that. We have to try our best to go out there, reach out. At the same time, uh, the Korean community also, uh, we have to the same way. So somewhere in between we meet and we start communicating and then we help each other. If we can even begin to provide for them uh, Korean culture classes, uh, Korean language classes, I think that there are some people in schools that will say, I still want my children not to lose their connection with their roots and their heritage, but to have that uh, relationship. Is there more to do? There's always more to do. Um, obviously, one culture is not better than the other culture, and every culture has their own rules, has their own set of norms. So, if each culture, Korean, American, if all of the other cultures were able to understand what the other culture is about, or what the other culture, um, you know, what the other culture has, or whatnot, then I think those those high mountains and those barriers of misunderstanding would come crumbling down. We are working with the Korean business community and being someone at the forefront of establishing relationships with the, the business community in Fullerton and the business community in South Korea. It's not the language, it's the fear that kind of prohibits them, them to participate in the mainstream. So hopefully we can uh, erase that fear and help them to participate. That's what we're trying to do. There's opportunity uh, for, for stronger relationships based on that now we're now we're the same common market. This is a beautiful country because it has diversity. It is they celebrate differences in this country. And we somehow we lose the perspective and don't see the power of diversity in unity. <laughs> Today 
Today is the Faces of Fullerton event. It's our 10th annual event. And we were set with the task 10 years ago of finding an event where all members of our community could feel welcome together. You know, there's different groups and there's different races and there's different ages and we live in different parts and we go to different schools. So a lot of us have our own events, but we don't do anything all together. Our Korean community has been quite involved in the Faces of Fullerton event for the last nine years. They bring 400 pounds of Korean barbecue every year and give it away for free. Um, the Korean Cultural Center, actually, that's located in Los Angeles, has been very involved in helping us get literature um, about Korean Americans, and we've worked really closely with them. We have Korean dancers and drummers. Eagle Taekwondo is generally here putting on demonstrations. We're all trying to work together. It doesn't matter if we're Korean or American or Hispanic or what we are. We all know that we're here for the betterment of our community. This program was brought to you by Verizon Communications.